It's Friday and it's time to cook for Shabbos. And this week I did something I almost never do on Fridays. I baked challah. I usually bake challah using my full recipe with five pounds of flour, which makes enough challah for about a month. I bake it early in the week and freeze it in freezer Ziploc bags, removing challahs from the freezer on Friday mornings and allowing them to defrost at room temperature. But this week was super busy. And by Thursday afternoon, I still hadn't gotten to it. So on Friday morning, I put up a small batch a quarter of my regular recipe to mix in my bread machine, my favorite tool for kneading small batches of dough. Challah isn't something I normally bake on Fridays because it takes some time and makes a bit of a mess, but with just enough dough to make two challahs and two rolls, it was definitely manageable today, especially because we have an extra hour before sunset this week that we didn't have last week. Shabbos doesn't start until close to 7 p.m. today, leaving plenty of time for more time-consuming projects like making a couple of challahs along with all my other Shabbos cooking. Speaking of projects, I also made my butternut squash pumpkin pie for Shabbos using squash that I roasted a few weeks ago and froze. I actually made two pies, one for Shabbos and one to freeze to serve at the Purim Suda, the festive meal on the holiday of Purim that's coming in just over a week. My pumpkin pie is not a custardy dessert, but definitely falls into the side dish category. If you're looking for the recipe, I've shared it on here before, and it's also on my blog over at homegrownkosher.com.